the next guy I want to talk about is someone who did not play a single second of this game. Oh. Who I believe had an impact with his vibes. A guy that people were watching tonight going, who is that guy? Mason Jones. You may be listening to this now going, uh, who is Mason Jones? Mason Jones has been on the Stockton Kings this season. The Kings just signed him after the trade deadline to a two-way contract. So he'll spend time in Stockton and in Sacramento with the Kings. They called him up for this game, mm -hmm. had them join the team in Denver, and he was on the Kings bench. And I'm watching that game. And I, we, we've we gotten to watch Mason Jones over the years in the G League even more closely this year. Yeah. Really just solid player. But the one thing he plays with is passion, energy. Pure passion. He's always talking. Good playmaker. Great vision. Has knocked down the three at a really high rate this year. 50% from three right now or something. I, I like his game a lot. Mm -hmm. I've, and I said this even before he was in Stockton. Watched him last year in Mexico City. I mean, I remember him with the Vipers in the G League. South Bay Lakers. Yeah, South, exactly. So anyway, they signed him to a two-way contract. I'm like, that's interesting. They're bringing him up, up for this game. Huh. And he doesn't play. But I'm watching, I'm going, this guy's into it. Every time out, this guy is up and he's greeting guys. He's animated. I tweeted at one point during the game. I said, Mason Jones was the first player off the bench at every time out tonight. He brought so much needed energy and vibes. That's how you have an impact without playing. Here's what Mike Brown had to say about Mason Jones after the game. I say, uh, Mason Jones, we just signed him to a two-way deal. He didn't play at all tonight. But his impact in the game was huge. He was, you know, the the, the energy he brought from the bit, from uh, being on the bench was phenomenal. I mean, every time out, before I can even take three steps on the floor, he's sprinting past me, high fiving guys, talking to guys during the game. He's talking to guys, and you know, we have a fairly quiet group, and so for him to bring that type of energy was phenomenal. My my my. my Son Elijah, who's a video coordinator for us, uh, he was watching at home. He even said, he said this before I even had a chance. He said, Mason's energy was off the charts. He could feel it through the TV. And uh, I know that I felt it, our players felt it, and our coaches felt it. So his energy was great for us in a game that, uh, again, we could have easily folded, but uh, our guys found a way. Yep. Yep. I'm so glad I am so glad that you pointed that out because I noticed it and then when you text me about it and then I saw your tweet later on I finished our broadcast just giving him love really quick this is not and I hadn't even heard Mike Brown talk about it or anything and I'm like yes because that role alone goes such a long way it takes a lot of energy to give a lot of energy and mason jones bringing it around a group of guys whether whoever he knows you know throughout his years of basketball or not just being that guy it really can do something different to you it's, sometimes you need the ejection of something mm -hmm. throughout a year and look, I'm not trying to overhype this okay act like man did they just get the steal of all noting steel? it just noting dude it. i Having encouragement, having someone who buys in and just is locked in and is something new. Like his voice is fresh to that group of players, yeah. to that locker room. And if he's coming off the bench and he's into things and he's pumping up Fox or he's pumping up Sabonis or anybody coming off the floor and he's being engaged, I think the Kings have lacked that this year. We mentioned JaVale McGee being a vocal leader, but yeah. outside of that, like Mike was just saying in that clip, like quiet it's group. a pretty quiet group like they're not like super loud or anything so you need some loudness yeah you need someone that's going to do a little talking i'll tell you what mason jones does a lot of talking when we watch him in the g league so it was good to see yeah. him just like bought into the moment understanding like dude if i'm going to be in the nba i'm on a two-way deal i don't know how long i'm gonna be chilling with this group but you you know what tonight in a post-game press conference after a win in which Mason Jones didn't play a goddamn second tonight. The head coach of the team is talking about you. The Deuce and Mo podcast is talking about you. No, but, you know, the, uh, his know. son's texting or the coaches. I know. I mean, that is that is significant. It, like, And that's something, it's a very positive development for Mason's career. Like, hey, if you're all, this, this whole thing is about being all in, 
this guy sounds all in and you need that type of energy and vibes. Yeah. They need vibes. Yeah, I mean, good it, vibes. It, there, especially when, when you're a two way guy or you're a guy that's playing in the G and you're like, okay, what, what puts this guy over? What separates him, you know, from others, especially if it's like a ah, fringe guy, there's a lot he does. Well, I'm not sure if his entire game translates to being able to play all these minutes on the NBA floor or whatever, but what can put you over and get you even that paycheck, that contract that you want, that dream yeah. that you are chasing. And it's those little things and those little things just go such a long way. And yeah, I just, I, I loved what we saw. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome stuff.